Uh, so we'll uh, move on then uh, to the next presenter. It's uh, Carl Rogillo, uh, who will present on the port delivery system with ranibizumab for Nevascular AMD ladder phase two trial end of study results. Thank you, Vaz, Suzanne, and the organizers. On behalf of the uh, co-authors and all the ladder study investigators, it's my privilege to present the final uh, end of study results of the ladder phase two trial with the port delivery system. Here are my disclosures, and relevant to this talk is Genentech, uh, the company behind the clinical development of PDS. The latter phase two trial was a dose-ranging clinical study designed to assess the durability, efficacy, and safety of the surgically implanted port delivery system device filled with three different concentrations of ranibizumab and then refilled on a PRN basis in the office per protocol compared to the gold standard monthly individual injections of ranibizumab. The primary endpoint was the time to the first PDS refill assessed when the patient, when the last patient completed the nine month visit. Secondary endpoints change in, uh, from baseline in BCVA and CFT along with safety. Baseline demographics and ocular characteristics were well balanced across the four treatment arms. Patients on average had good visual acuity at baseline around 2040 Snell and equivalent, were recently diagnosed averaging three to four months, and a mean of three intravitual injections uh, at the time of enrollment. And here's the primary endpoint, the median time to the first refill of the study. It was the high dose that performed the best, as you recall. 15.8 months was the median time to uh, refill, and that's 80% of those patients uh, going six or more months without requiring a refill. The obvious dose response, the medium concentration arm, went 13 months, and the low concentration arm, 8.7 months. And this is now over a mean time in the study of 22 months, nearly two years, with a range of 11 to almost 38 months. Here are the uh, visual outcomes change in BCVA from baseline. You can see after about month two, enough time for the eye just to recover from the PDS surgery we see essentially the same visual acuity gains well maintained over nearly two years in the high dose arm compared to monthly. And for anatomical results shown here, the central foveal thickness outcomes were comparable among the PDS arms, uh, two monthly ranibizumab over the course of the study, again, nearly two years, and uh, a difference of really only about, on average, 25 microns or so over the course of the study. And for safety, Shown here are the adverse events associated with the PDS device and arms themselves. The three arms shown here and then pooled and then further subdivided into a time frame of less than one month from the implant to more than one month out to the study. And again, mean time on study being 22 months. And as you recall from previous presentations with the primary analysis, the, um, the device was associated with a high rate of vitreous hemorrhage but the surgical technique was modified and that hemorrhage rate went way down. It was averaging about 4% thereafter for the remainder of the study and big hemorrhages were very rare thereafter. As for other notable uh, 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 adverse events associated with the device such as conjunctival issues and infection and retinal attachment, uh, these were essentially unchanged uh, compared to the primary analysis uh, averaging around 1% to 2%. And finally for cataract, uh, the rates were the same between the PDS and the monthly injection arms ranging in the 15 to 17 percent. Uh, for durability, we saw the dose response earlier and as seen here, it was the high dose again performing the best. This is a proportion of eyes um, uh, not needing refill over the time frames at six months again, 80 percent for the high dose arm. For the uh, high dose arm at nine months, it was about 70, almost 70 percent. And at 12 months, it was nearly 60 percent in the high dose arm not needing a refill. Again, 12 or more months. And the median time to refill in the high dose arm, again, was 15.8 months. 53% of patients required a refill over the course of the study. And of those that required the refill, the median time to refill was 8.8 months for the first refill, and then 8.8 months, once again, between the first and second refill. And these results do support uh, the phase three study design, which is a fixed 24 week or six month uh, dosing. In summary, the end of study analysis shown here today uh, 
shows that efficacy and safety outcomes were consistent with the primary analysis that we reported last year. It was the high-dose arm that worked the best, the high-concentration arm, with 60 percent of patients going 12 or more months without requiring a refill. And for those that needed the refill, it was a mean time of 8.8 .8 months for both the first and second refills. From a safety standpoint, the PDS was uh, very well tolerated throughout the entire study time, time frame of 22 months on average, out to 38 months for some patients. And there were no significant changes in the overall safety profile. And I'm pleased to report that the Archway Phase three study is now fully enrolled, and we expect to see some results within the next year or so. Thank you again to all the participating investigators and study sites.